Hi everybody, this is Evergreen Hacker and we are at leadcode.com. Previously we've already started walking through the weekly contest number four and we've been doing a rotate function, integer replacement. Now it's time to do random pick index. I'll give you a few seconds to read through the description and examples. Okay, so we have this array and the uh, judge will call uh, the constructor of our class. Uh, it will create the object, pass in the array, and then it will call method, uh, possibly multiple times, which is pick. And so it will ask to uh, give the random index um, of an element which has value three. So in this case, we would have to return either two or three or four because the indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And for pick 1, we would have to return only 0, because we have only one element uh, with value 1. OK. So this task seems to be quite trivial, so we can start coding it right away. But the fact that it has medium difficulty says that there are some tricks. Uh, but let's try to do the uh, brute force solution first. So uh, what would be the brute force? We would have to pick integers on the fly. So we don't do any preprocessing. We just hold this whole array in like self.nums. And then whenever we have a pick called, we just um, walk through this array and search how many um, of those elements have uh, value um, equals to our target, like one or three. And then we would have uh, the, uh, the number to, to run the, the random algorithm on. And, and then we can just pick uh, the random index out of the uh, uh, array. So we would have to do two passes. Let's, let's do it. So, self nums will be just nums and then here we would do two things first is get count get count of targets so let's implement it here self target return something We'll do it later. And then, once we have it, then we have to call import rand range from random. So we would do rand index. It's not exactly index, but rent index returns from zero to count, not including. And now we would have to go through all the elements of self nums again for I in X range when so we are just walking through all of them. Maybe we don't actually need this I. Yeah. So we only need another I, which will be zero here. If uh, L is the same as target, then uh, we are checking if I equals rand index, then return it. But what do we have to return? We have to return indexes. Yeah, or indices. Two, three, or four. 
So return I. Mm. Yeah, so we have to have this I after all X range len but then here it would be um, um, the target index so this would be the rand, rand index this is the target index and then if target index equals rand index we just return that stuff otherwise or we don't need to do it in else um, target index increment by one so that's it and then we don't need to um, do anything here like we already have this condition that given target must exist okay so what do we do then just return I know blah because <laughs> for sure we shouldn't ever reach this point okay and then let's implement this get count get count should return basically same thing as we do here whoops for i x in um, for this case we don't need that we just need an element oh here it will be self nums of i yeah if element is the target then we just increment counter 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 plus one okay return counter so that would be a, a brute force solution and let's look at its complexity so here we are doing nothing in prep stage then get count uh, it's order n so it's linear then um, yeah let's move this guy so we're here rend range then target index those are all constants um, here we are also walking through the array and if we find something then we compare so it's in worst case it also will be a uh, linear in the end total complexity would be uh, also linear it's not that bad and it has zero extra space exactly as those guys asked like here try avoid uh, using extra space so exactly what we did uh, but it seems to be a quite quite inefficient why because we are doing get count every time uh, the peak is called and maybe if someone asks for the same uh, target uh, multiple times then we would just redo that um, well, without the need so we can save that so let's just let's have some memory counts and it will be a hash map so then once we get uh, the count we'll store it and it will be indexed by target equals count and then here if memo okay 
let's say if target in more then return return it mm -hmm. okay so we use some memorization here uh, it's extra space so we are going out of the uh, constant space already uh, but um, we are saving on extra calls to um, this get count. Can we somehow optimize this loop? Let's look. So we are we are checking. Uh, yeah, so we are doing same thing here as here. It means that if we want to optimize this loop somehow, we can calculate all the indices for uh, given targets in the constructor. And then just we, we would have to loop through them in the big method. But that would require us uh, to use a lot of extra space. So let's let's see if this thing works. As usual, we would have to run it on some trivial example. So let's let's try this one. Seems to be quite simple. Um, yep, yeah. we are here. So this would be a self nums. Yeah. We would also save this guy and then okay we can go so get count we are entering uh, get count target is not there um, we are skipping this then we are going here count is zero so we go through all of the elements of nums. So it would be uh, one, two, three, three, three. If element is equal to target and target would be, um, um, let's say three, target close to three. We uh, increment counter. So for the first one, nothing happens, then nothing happens, then it will be one, two, and three. So we return three count is three then rend range we don't need to really uh, know how to this how this rend range works so we just um, assume that it will be uh, one let's say rend index but it can be anything out of this list and then target index is zero self nums of y equals target so yeah we are accessing it it's the same as element here uh, if that happens then we are checking if target index is the same as random index. It means that did we find the ith um, value with which is the same as target? Yeah. So uh, we are looping over this array again. Uh, so here no match, here no match, then first match, yes. Uh, we are uh, in here, uh, so ta target index is zero. Uh, this one is two. Uh, or or one, so rent is one, and this one is zero, no match. Uh, so we just increment target index, it becomes one. Then uh, we go um, back to this, uh, this time over the element three in the position of four. Uh, target index equals rent index, so we return four, because I would be four. That's it, seems to be working. Okay, let's run the code. Runtime error.
invalid syntax. Okay, that's that's interesting. Why? Oh, because I mixed the order. Okay, that happens. No module named rend range. I swapped wrong things. Okay, from random import rend range. What about this time? Okay, so it worked. Let's submit the solution. Yay! Accepted. Nice. Let's look at the details. And we are somewhere somewhere at the beginning, so we are quite good. And I think that it's enough. So now we can move to the other uh, exercise. Um, thank you for watching guys, uh, good luck at your interviews, subscribe to my channel, bye bye.